Hello there again, this is the uh, AZ Belt 3433, and we're going to do a uh, burn test and an evaluation of this small little stove made from an ocean spray uh, can, the small can. Uh, this will be in, well, it'll be in response in a way to uh, Smoke Eater 908. He, uh, several months ago, he did a DIY on making this. Uh, did both the DIY and also another video for the template for the inner ring. And also, uh, Tinny at Mini Bowl Design, he makes or he used to make one uh, called the Elite, uh, very similar in nature to this one here. The only difference is he does a rollover and a uh, hot crimping of it, uh, something that I can't do. Um, I do do a little bit differently than Smoke Eater 908. I cut mine out using a straight edge type blade system where you actually either attach it to a, a wooden block or you put it in a book and uh, cut the difference in height which the top is an inch and a half high and the bottom is one inch high. Uh, you cut that and you rotate it around until you you get it scored decently enough to break almost to break through and then it'll, it'll break up. I like to do it that way because you don't get stretching on the edges if you have a pair of scissors they're not exactly sharp enough to cut that and it stretches the edges and makes it kind of deform the the uh, the top portion of it and hard to get into the bottom portion even when you heat it up and expand it slightly. The other thing that I do is that once I get it down to just about a within a quarter inch after you've inserted the top and you've got the inner ring on the inside and you've adjusted the inner ring to come underneath the slip, I like to put just a little bit of JB Weld on the bottom and push it all the way back down again to, to get down to the size that you want and seat the inner ring. Uh, and then let it sit for a day and what that does is that when you heat this thing up you don't get the distortion you would get n normally and that actually like I said uh, when Tinny uh, hot crimps this over that's what that's supposed to do so you don't get that moving in the inner ring eventually. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a burn test next and uh, then we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit about a little bit more about the evaluation of the burn test. Be back in a minute. Okay we're back. I've uh fueled it up one ounce of, uh, of heat and uh, we have two cups of water uh, right now it measures temperature wise about 66 degrees we get this all lit up and uh, get her going clumsy Let her bloom out here. Usually give her a little wave and it usually gets her going. Nice. Okay. Oh, get her going here. Or we could have primed it a little bit better. All right. Um, what I'll do is when we get to close to 200 degrees, I'll come back. Maybe I'll do a little segment. I'm going to turn the lights down and close the garage door and we'll look at the flame. But uh, let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We're at 200 degrees. We're actually at 201, 205, 27, 28. Ten to ten. Two twelve. Yeah, I gotta pick this up so I can see it in the light here. Four minutes and forty-four seconds. And that's about these things do run extremely hot and they also consume a lot of fuel for the actual time that they run, so 
and that's in consideration and um, what I'm going to do is uh, I think let me turn the lights out again so you can see this I mean it's since the uh, pot is quite hot now uh, there goes my garage light goes out um, you can see that the flame pattern is pretty good uh, probably should have just gone ahead and see how far out this one ounce of fuel how many minutes it it uh, takes to run it out but virtually what this particular type of stove is good for and is to heat up two cups of water and pretty much that's about it heat it up very quickly too so um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, let this thing cool down and I'll be back in a second and we'll talk about uh, what the results are thanks be back okay we're back I need to cut this short because this video is getting a little bit longer than I wanted but anyway, um, look at the uh, links that I have in the description and you'll see those are links to the uh, Smoke Eater 908 and his D DIY on this particular um, stove. Also, you may have seen in the uh, burn test and everything else that it looks like I overfilled it and there was some uh, alcohol coming out of the jet. So that's, that's a problem sometimes if you overfill them, you get some of that coming out of the jet. So you have to be careful with that. But any questions or comments or um, on this particular stove again look at those uh, two those links those three links I have in the description and until then thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later